morning. It's <clears throat> Wednesday the 16th of August and I'm in my office, studio, all right, conservatory. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just going to show you today is a new um, idea I had for um, uh, moving my gear around, especially when I'm going away on a, uh, on a video shoot. Um, I've been looking at buying cases to put my gear in um, to keep it reasonably safe, um, even though it's only me transporting it in the car, but um, you still need to get it from the car to the venue, don't you? So um, I've been looking at different ways of doing it, um, Pelican cases and God knows what else, my ordinary type of case and uh, put to uh, get wheels on it you know get a trolley or something so uh, I think I've come up with a reasonable idea and a reasonably cheap idea as well um, it's not a dear one it's not fantastic all right but um, it works so uh, we'll have a slurp and I'll show you oh that's better Right, so here we go, I'll tight, going round. There it is. Let me, let me slide back a little bit, there we go. It's one of these Stanley tool boxes. And it comes in three layers. So, uh, and it's got wheels and a handle. So, on the, it's got two big wheels on the back. Um, but here, if I lift this up, into place with that handle now we have a handle for towing it about Ooh, what much better so we put that down we'll open the top one up like that Ooh, nearly nearly got my fingers that one move over a bit there we go right so there we go so this it's got some of this foam you can buy. Actually, there's two blocks of this in here. One in down below and this one. I found that one wasn't quite enough, so I put two in. So the bottom one is a bit redundant, but it's just holding everything at a nice level um, and not rattling about on the bottom of this. So, yeah. So this has got the Olympus in it. My monitor, my second monitor, which I will be doing a video maybe a bit later today about uh, my Panasonic uh, and other plates and pieces. And this one's got a, a, a 9 to 18 lens on it. I've also got my little 24, no, 17, sorry. Well, 24, it's a 17, um, 24 equivalent full frame. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think um, it looks quite good. This is a spare drive um, so yeah it compacts quite nicely so that is the top one so if we very quickly put that up like that and down the sides it's got nice catches that lock bits on now I'm going to move my T from over there to over there right sorry about that and then um, lift that up this is the second part and as you can see this carries all my wires now why do I have so many wires well when I'm collecting audio from artists they all have different ways of doing it so over the months probably years now that I've been doing it I've been collecting different style plugs so we have plugs that go this way that way and every way that fit into my my recorder that I use um, also got some lights in here this is a handle for my second um, cage that goes on the Olympus so yeah so let me just now I'll clip the bottom ones 
Well, this is a good thing about it, is because you could just move it all about. I put that up there, and there's the uh, there's the bottom cage. Um, so what is that holding in there? Well, it's holding two microphones. So let me. This one holds two uh, microphones. There's a road and a deity in there. Battery um, for whatever will charge everything. There's a cage down there for the Olympus. This side we have the um, um, I forgot the name of it. Is it Tascam um, recorder? And lower down there's bits and pieces in here, uh, which is batteries. There's a whole lot of different type batteries down there. And, oh, and a spare, another spare recorder. Um, this case has the radio microphones in it. And this one has um, God, gone all blank. I'll tell you what. Oh, it's my um, other microphone I've got. It's an XLR microphone in, oops, sorry about that, I slipped off the chair. Uh, an XLR microphone um, that uh, is in there. So I thought that it all sort of slides in nicely and holds it all together. So if I put it all back together, which is very handy, there we go. And that one sit in there. Now, don't you think that makes quite a nice little uh, carrying case? It's a little heavy when I've got all the other equipment in it because my other camera is sitting here um, doing nothing at the moment, and um, I'll probably whilst it's quiet and I'm doing nothing um, I might just do the um, video on that one as well um, and show you the rig on that but I'll have to move it to do it so there you go my carrying case for my uh, for my gear when I go away yes it's going to take a little bit of room in the car but I drive a, a reasonable size car anyway so um, uh, it's got a it's got a massive boot in it so uh, <laughs> which would you believe i had a freelander that had such a small boot in it i sold it and in fact i bought a citroen P c4 picasso um, which had a monstrous boot in it which finally got traded in for the c5 air cross that i i have now which again it's got a massive boat and it's a lovely car to drive. Oh, yeah. I can drive from here to North Yorkshire in it and stop. Um, and I don't feel tired when I get out the other end or fatigued or anything. So, yeah, it's a lovely car to drive. But anyway, look, I've gone off the... Um, off, a, off onto a tangent as I always do but yeah so that is the box I forget what it costs something like about 30 30 odd quid uh, the foam inserts I think were something like about 15 quid um, and that was it I'm not paying a hundred and something odd quid for a pelican case um, on wheels pelican case might look a little bit better and might be ideal to go on an aircraft I don't go on aircrafts so um, I thought this would uh, would do. So anyway, I'll, I'll twiddle you back round this way. Um, so you don't want to see my messy um, desk <laughs> too much. Um, I'll say thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, subscribe. Come on, all you non-subscribers, bite the bullet and subscribe, please. 
uh, um, like, share. You know, uh, it's, it's what it's about. So yeah, anyway, again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.